Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I would like to remind you folks to please share these messages. We've kind of come to a plateau again here on our listeners. And that's what happens. I don't know if it happens on every channel, but I think we're uh, facing a lot of headwinds with our subject matter on this uh, platform. Amen. Um, the tech people do not like Jesus. Amen. We know everything. They they enjoy everything, but amen. So I know that that's there too. So if you could share and remember to put your thumbs up, uh, that helps us grow too. And also uh, some of you, a few of you have given me offerings and donations and God bless you. I so appreciate it. Uh, I do live on a fixed income and it is such a blessing in my life. And I wanted to take a minute again and thank you folks. You know, the last couple of days, I think five days, I've had some, uh, you know, what I call weighty words, heavy duty words. And after about the third day, I sat down with the Lord and I said, gosh, Lord, can I get something, you know, beautiful and comforting and warm and fuzzy? And, and he gave me another hard hitting word. So I have to be obedient. Those are not the words that are the easiest for me to post, especially five days in a row, the weighty and heavy ones. And um, so today uh, is, I titled it, Our Prayer to Him. And it's absolutely beautiful. And maybe as I go through it and read it, you can close your eyes and, and pray that to Almighty God. It's a beautiful prayer in the form of, uh, of a word. And I also wanted to take another minute here and let you folks know um, I started a new prayer card. And actually today I'll be praying with my prayer partner. And my other little buddy is in uh, Texas. And she fasts several uh, days a week and she goes on and pray. And then we send names back and forth. Amen. So I wanted to let you know, I've gotten in the last three days, a lot of prayer requests. And I hear you. I've been praying for you. Um, somebody's lost a husband seven months ago. There's a lot of fear out there. I'm praying for you folks that are struggling with fear. Um, there's a couple of you that need deliverance. You're being oppressed severely by the enemy. So I'm praying about that. Some health issues and some marriage problems. Amen. So also salvation, you know, some of our sons and daughters. Amen. So I hear you. I'm so faithful to pray. I put this on my desk by day and add the names. And then I'm always in, you know, back and forth to my desk so I'm praying throughout the day and then I put it on my nightstand at night and pray for all of you folks after I pray for my family amen so we've got you covered in prayer my other prayer partner keeps her cards in her bible amen so um sorry here got an itch <laughs> but anyway I wanted to let you know that we are praying for you folks and we are faithful to pray for you folks amen so uh, yesterday I had a really hard time posting a word and I finally got it uploaded and downloaded. So, you know, the enemy is really, uh, it took me 24 hours to get uh, a awesome word uh, down, downloaded and uploaded. So um, we're facing a lot of headwinds. So I want to thank you for your prayers remind you to pray for us here on the channel my prayer warriors praying for us i feel your prayers but uh some days it's not easy uh with uh you know dealing with uh the technology and maybe everything involved with it you know uh you know the persecution side of it and it's definitely the enemy is uh you know, coming against us from time to time. So I want to thank you so much for your prayers. These things are real. When you're out speaking uh, for the Lord on his behalf as his vest, so you're attacked, amen, and you know this. You go to the workplace, you share, you you get attacked. You go out into the world and you get attacked. So uh, we're all facing it. I know you realize it. And I want to thank you so much for your prayer. So today I'm going to read out of Psalms uh, 90, uh, 
parts of it. And then I'm going to read our beautiful prayer. A prayer to him is what I'm going to call it. Now, Psalm 90 is the only psalm that Moses ever wrote. I have that written in my Bible, so I picked that up from one of my teachers. So that I found that very interesting. Psalm 90 uh, was the only psalm that Moses ever wrote. Amen. So I'm going to read about one through six, and then it talks about God's anger and wrath. But I'm then going to move to verse 12 and finish it off with the last verse 17. So a little bit more reading, but it was beautiful, and it goes along with the word today. Verse 1, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were born, or thou didst give birth to the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thou dost turn man back into dust, and thou uh, return, O children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are like yesterday when it passes by, or as a watch in the night. Isn't that the truth? We we are so focused on time, and with God there is no time. Amen. One day is as a thousand years, and we're seeing it in these last days, how fast and rapidly things are moving. Amen. So verse 5, thou hast swept them away like a flood, and they fall asleep. In the morning they are like grass which sprouts anew, and in the morning it flourishes and sprouts anew. Towards evening it fades and withers away. And verse 12, so teach us to number our days that we may present to thee a heart of wisdom. And please, church, pray for wisdom today. We need all the wisdom from on high that we can get today. There's so much coming at us each and every day. And I do encourage you to pray for wisdom and discernment. You know, we are... Paul tells us to pray and desire the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wisdom, discernment, uh, kindness, encouragement, uh, server, uh, praying in tongues. Amen. Prophetic. Amen. So verse 17, the last verse, and let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and do confirm for us the work of our hands. Yes, confirm the work of our hands. Thank you, Lord. And he does encourage us, doesn't he? He does encourage us. And in the midst of all the turmoil that I know many of you are walking through in these last days, you right, we're praying. Amen. So much turmoil, so much persecution, so much hurt. You know what? We serve Almighty God. And even today, this moment in time, he's able to lift you up. And he, I have this prayer that he wrote through my pen this morning, and it will minister and encourage you. Amen. So just close your eyes, if you would, and let me read this prayer and make this your prayer today. Amen. All right. Our prayer to him. Many are young and many are old. Teach us, dear Savior, to pray and to serve. To know our days are but a breath in time. Shine your light on the path forward and even on our hidden sins. For, Lord, we know you are foremost, Lord, of our salvation. The only one who walked and gave his blood for our lives, our very next breath. Lord, we raise up holy hands to your name. We give you glory and honor this day and time, a day we have been chosen to serve, a day when many walk in darkness and death. Yet you hold out your hand to all. O Holy One of Israel, how often we fail you. O Holy One, how often we fall short of your glory. And how often we forget the power we have within us. And how often we fail. O my dearest, you are there once again beside us with your loving hand extended to us. And once again, when we feel your warmth nearby, we crumble and fall to our knees. We remember our past from whence we came and all the todays when your grace and mercy are extended my, our way. O Holy One of Israel, we raise up holy hands in praise to you this day to the only true and living God. Thank you, Lord. And God who hears our prayers, the God of comfort, the God who will comfort us when we are hurt, the God who comforts us when we fail him, a God 
time and time again that extends his hands when we fail like no other we've ever known oh holy one we lift up holy hands today in praise we cannot put into words the thankfulness praise and love that we hold deep within ourselves there are no words that can explain the one who is called our savior we adore you we give you glory and honor this day our beloved uh, o holy lamb of god our most and dearest and loving lord of the universe all glory to your name praise you lord praise you lord praise you lord praise you lord i think i should read it one more time and just say a brief prayer because it's it's so beautiful it's our prayer for today amen so I'm going to read it again and just send you off with God's blessings today. Amen. Be encouraged. He's with us. He's with you. He's carrying you. Many of you need to be carried today. He's carrying you. He's ministering his love to you. Just close your eyes and let this be your prayer. Amen. Many are old and many are young. Teach us, dear Savior, to pray and to serve. To know our days are but a breath in time. Shine your light on the path forward and even on our hidden sins. For, Lord, we know you are foremost the Lord of salvation, the only one who walked and gave his blood for our life and very next breath. Lord, we raise up holy hands to your name. We give you glory and honor this day and time. A day we have been chosen to serve, a day when many walk in darkness and death. Yet you hold out your hand to all. O Holy One of Israel, how often we fail you. O Holy One, how often we fall short of your glory and how often we forget the power we have within us and how often we fail. O my dearest, you are there once again beside us with your loving hand extended to us. And once again, we feel your warmth nearby. We crumble falling to our knees. We remember our past from whence we came and all the todays when our grace and mercy uh, is extended our way. O Holy One of Israel, we raise our holy hands in praise today to the only true and living God, the God who hears our prayers, the God of comfort, the God who will comfort us when we are hurt, a God who comforts us when we fail him. A God time and time again that extends his hand when we fail like no other we've ever known. Oh, Holy One, today we lift up holy hands in praise. We cannot put into words the thankfulness, praise, and love that we hold deep within ourselves. There are no words that can explain the love one uh, who is called our Savior. We adore you. We give you glory and honor this day, our beloved, most holy Lamb of God, our most dearest and loving Lord of the universe. All glory to your name. Praise you, Lord, almighty God. Bless you, Lord. Lord, I pray blessings be upon your people this day, Lord God. Lord God, I know many are hurting, Lord God. And yet, once again, you extend, extend your hand and you bring them unto you, Lord God, so they might feel your faith, uh, your warmth, Lord God. Lord, those that are lacking today in faith, Lord God, fill them to overflowing, Lord God. Those that need healing today, touch their bodies, mind, and their spirit, Lord God. Those that are afraid, Lord God, cover them with your blood, Lord God, and take them up with you, Lord God. Take them up over and above all these fears and anxiety that the devil would put on them this day and time, Lord God. Minister your healing touch, Lord God. Save their loved ones, Lord God. Save our children. Save our grandchildren, Lord God. Minister your peace this day and time to each one listening, Lord God, and touch them right now, body, mind, and spirit. The blood covering be upon them. And Lord God, I pray that they feel your peace that they walk in your grace and mercy the rest of this day into the evening and into the next day, God. We praise your holy name, almighty God of the universe. We thank you that we are filled with your power and your anointing, God, and that you are using each one of us, God, in each way that you have made us special, Lord God. Bless and keep your people this day and time in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for subscribing. Please share. Help us grow. Amen. We all need every bit of Almighty God in these last remaining days. Amen. We need his peace. We need his love. We need his anointing. We need his salvation. Amen. God be with you. God bless and keep you this day. Amen. God bless.